Okay, it is August 22nd, 11.41 p or a.m. I guess, and then doing a garden tour part 10. It is, uh, got a di I'm kind of disappointed, so. Last few days, we've been getting a lot of rain and wind and stuff. Last night, we got a huge thunderstorm with a bunch of wind, and the day before, it was sunny. But then before that, we got all this rain all day and all this wind, and then before that, we got tons of cold weather, like in the 60s and 50s and tons of rain and wind and all that crap. So because of that, the sunflower over there knocked over because of the wind. And then we also had another sunflower. So I had to take it out. It was like right here, it was a huge, awesome one. And there's another sunflower over there, or that um, near there that knocked over also. So I had to throw that away. Um, it's a big fat boo. Really upset about that. Kind of bummed me so much for our garden this year. We do got some stuff though. Like over here, we still got some sunflowers, even though another one knocked over because of the wind and storms last night. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's doing okay, I guess. I don't know how long it'll last. There's bees on it though, so. And there's those ones up there. These ones are not that good, but there's better than nothing. We also have that one over there still that was over there and I transplanted it about a month, almost maybe a little more than a month ago and it started wilting and dying, but then like it started like parts of it died, but it came back to life kind of. So it's got this huge good old looking flower on here. So that's good. And this one, once we get sod, we won't have to take it out. Same with those ones over there. I don't think, I know this one we could leave because in a garden, we're gonna have a garden here next year, but this area is gonna be grass. So yeah, tons of weeds over here right now. Um, there's some paper wasps on there too, getting the dead foliage to build their nests with. But yeah, that's our uh, piece of crap garden this year. It's not that good. My dad's garden isn't doing anything either. So, like a lot of the plants aren't doing any more weeds in here. Like, last year we had a great garden. I'm really thankful for that. This year, just nah. But there's uh, the sweet williams that aren't really blooming anymore. But there are some blooms like right there and stuff. And these are just old flowers, old pieces of. Whatever, and then there's the old lilies that aren't blooming anymore. And I was like watching the garden videos that I made last year, kind of watching them by myself and like looking at like how those used to be here and how like this used to go all the way like back there. So we had like a blackberry bush there and a blueberry bush there and flowers. And before we had our air conditioner, it was just crazy because like how much our yard has changed when we had our pool that pull our pool there, our pool, whatever took that out and how the dirt we used to have dirt all along here and it was like about this high and we took all that out because we because people that lived here before us i don't know if they had a pool here or not but if they did then i think they didn't at first and they added one but basically like this is like a slope so like the pool was about up to here and over here the pool was from ground at the top of the pool but over here the pool was kind of like in a ditch because of the slope. So this was the ground and then there was like a big um, ditch right over here and it kind of evened out that direction. So the pool was like up to here and it just went this direction. And uh, yeah, so there's basically a whole a huge ditch over here. And so that's why when before they had the pool, they took all the dirt out here and put it back here, I'm guessing, and made a hill here. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that happened. And uh, we just had weeds and wood chips when we moved in. I don't know if they ever had a garden back here or not. But then they, uh, well, when we moved in, we undid all that because we had our pool. It was great, but we just didn't use it enough for how much work it was. And we just were, didn't have all the money to keep affording it like we thought we did. So got the pool out, got a, and then took the dirt over here and put it over there. And, uh, but like I was saying last year, when we had a huge garden over here at like pumpkins in this area. Well, there's like a tree stump here and there's a tree stump there. So there's a huge tree stump here up to here. And then the dirt was like almost above it. And, uh, these are just the roots left, but we had like pumpkins over here, huge giant pumpkins last year. And then we had like Brussels sprouts, like right here somewhere and lettuce there and sunflowers all against the fence. and. Basically, by the way, all this plants we have this year came back from seeds from our garden last year because it got spread it all over the place when we were moving the pool. When we were moving the dirt to where the pool was, they got spread it then and they also got spread when we were 
trenching for the new sprinkler system because last year our new sprinkler system we had the old sprinkler system and it was just a whole different setup, a piece of crap setup. So yeah, but then I'm thinking about putting this area to like golf area. Just like a little golf obstacle thing, I don't know. And that's why we're leaving a stump there because it might be a little hill for something cool. I don't know for sure. But for now it's just weeds and the sunflowers that came back from last year and yeah. Basically we had like a watermelon plant here, some cantaloupe and honeydew melons over here, and uh, sweet potatoes there. Cucumbers were all along here. Oh crap, I stepped on the sprinkler, hopefully it's okay. Um, there's like cucumbers all along here and there's an old sprinkler on our old sprinkler system from zone two that was here somewhere. It was like more like right there, but anyways. So cucumbers here and then there were uh, zucchini over here and squash all along there and so much stuff we had see there was a what else we had i already said brussels sprouts and i had lettuce there and there's probably other stuff that i'm forgetting about we had a few types of squash like yellow and yellow our spaghetti squash yellow and straight neck squash and butternut squash and all that stuff and i said this sorry already and then we got petunias over here, which came back, but my mom pulled them out because she because she thought they were a weed. We also had a rose bush there, which was still there, but it really like died because the cats kept crapping in it. So we also had daffodils in here, which those will still come back because the bulbs are still there. So those will be back in the spring. Over here we had asparagus beans, which by the way, those came back too. I keep forgetting to tell you, but all of those are asparagus beans that we need to pull. Well, they're kind of rotten now, but asparagus beans all in that area, always paper wasps on it. There's like one like right there i don't know if you can see but uh yeah asparagus beans we had asparagus beans there and strawberries under them cherry tomato or normal tomatoes cherry tomatoes and then we had sun sugar cherry tomatoes were like oranges and then we had peppers over here a few different types of peppers and now it's just it's just so crazy to look at our garden this year and how crappy it is you know and how big it was last year and how different our yard was so crazy because I mean, like that red shed used to be over there and we moved it there not too long well maybe a few months ago now but there's still going to be more changes to our yard probably really soon it was going to be in august but it's still a little delayed we need to till up all of this area and from and there's a sprinkler right there and the reason why it's there and where that blue flag is there there's a sprinkler there and there, and where that red shit is. There's no, there's none over here. Why there's none over here? Because we're gonna add like uh, gravel over here that will lead to this driveway, so we can park our motorhome all the way over here. And we're also thinking about putting like a eventually sometime in the future putting like a huge overpass deck or something kind of like that over this area. It'll be cool. And then so all this will be like driveway or gravel or whatever. And then this. From here, all this, all those weeds, is gonna be like that, just grass. We're thinking about playing grass there. Same with back there, we're gonna have grass there. And the reason why, I don't know if you remember, but when I first, first tore over our new sprinkler system, there was like, this red shed wasn't here yet, and so there was a sprinkler there and there, and I was telling like, the reason why we don't have one in that corner, and one of why we have one here and here is because we're gonna put a red shed here. Well, now that red shed's there, so, yeah. And uh, but we gotta pull out these roots sometime also because this is gonna be grass all the way up to where that windmill is kind of, because basically all these weeds came back so fast. Like there's a sprinkler there and basically like up here to there and there's no sprinklers in here. That's why um, we're gonna put a golf thing there. So that's why they're kind of on the edges here. And there's like one under this grass somewhere. That, uh, let's see where it is. There it is right there. It's on zone four. <laughs> That's a mini pro rotor. And by the way, um, I carry a mini pro rotor, but by the way, there was like, when I did a spring the system zone two, I was like, oh, I just called these the big rotors. I didn't know what they were. I knew they were K rain rotors, but I wasn't sure what they were. Well, I think they're super pro rotors. Let's see. I don't know if it says, but I looked them up. I think these are like super pro K rain rotors. And there's like, hey, what are you Doing a garden tour. <laughs> Doing a garden tour? Yeah, there is. Where is a garden? There and over there. 
Yeah, I know. Still doing That's an like update. A weed tour. Right? Yeah, it's like a weed tour. <laughs> yeah. Weed tour. More like a, more weeds than garden, obviously, because look at all this crap. Look at that. It's so stupid. Man, like, all weeds are around here are just such a... Something we don't want. <laughs> Everybody doesn't want weeds. Because all they do is just ruin everything. But I love dandelions. And those are the only weeds I love. And I just wish I could have every single one. But not like a whole yard full of just dandelions. Just like a few of them. Because dandelions will ruin your lawn. But having a few of them is really awesome. Because the way they flower is just amazing. So anyways, over here we have... I don't know if I really... I showed this area, but I didn't really explain it. Firecracker which tipped over because of the... Well, the firecracker flowers. They tipped over because the rain and wind... Lilies and other firecracker, firecracker plants that are done blooming, but lilies are done blooming too. Other perennials back there. The lilies that are done blooming. Other perennials, I think another bush, and other firecrackers that are done blooming, and then the uh, fever few. And uh, these uh, plants, which are uh, usually have red flowers by now, but they're just delayed because they haven't been getting as much water. But they seem to grow a little bit better because of the rain. But here's the boxwood bushes that are dying. I think these ones usually are used to water and sun. But like last year, they got the same amount of sun they did this year, but they just got more water this year. They don't have much water. So with the sun drying them out even more, they're kind of dying. These ones still don't get any water, but they get more shade, so it kind of absorbs it better than a cat spruce. And then we also have our Douglas fir tree. Oh yeah, oh, that's, I've told you, but they have a fly pool now. Douglas fir tree which ain't doing too well, but it's still there. And these saplings that finally died. Because uh, I think they were supposed to be sprayed with weed killer or something. Because I guess from, I guess they're not supposed to be there. We're going to plant more trees somewhere, but not there. So, yeah. Because the other tree, the quaking aspen there, blew down at the beginning of this year. So There's still a hole right here where the zone one sprinkler used to be. Well, there's two of them there at a time. And, I ended up adding Max and Pop up connected to each other, which was nice. Because so, the, the crappy design it had two pop ups here just to spray in a circle, but then that area wasn't getting enough water when we had just the two Maxi Paws and Rotors there or whatever. So I put one here, a big Maxi Paw, so it can get this, but it would just have to spray in a circle still because it wouldn't get this area. But last year, I got a pop up, connected it to the side hookup on the Maxi Paw with a little pipe or whatever, and then I was able to pop up, I was, make, I was able to make the pop up spray this area so it doesn't spray far, so I was able to spray it just barely. And I was able to make the maxi ball on this side spray all the area in the front yard, which was really nice. And there, was, and there was a pop up here, but it's still there. I couldn't find it. Like, I st I've been trying to find it so I could use the nozzle and take it out because most of the sprinklers from the sprinkler system are taken out because, like, we took them out. So like we, we, we took them out because we don't need them and I'll, I could use the nozzles for something else But some of them I just couldn't like I knew where they were They're in, it's in this area somewhere But the trenches kind of covered it up and now I just don't know where it is It might be able to show up sometime, but I just don't I've still been looking so far. I can't find it at all There's the pop-up right here somewhere And uh, yeah, and there's also on our old sprinkler system on zone 5 There's a pop-up in the back of the yard that I couldn't find either back where all the strings used to be but that's about it of our um disappointment garden with full of weeds and stuff sorry it's just a a weed garden and do some other plants so hopefully um yeah i'll enjoy this video and i'll try to keep you updated on things